Google that thing, dude. UAPs and UFOs, we're talking about basically the same broad thing of these objects that pilots have episodically seen and not been able to explain. And so this report, which is still being finalized, this report finds there isn't a definitive explanation for around 120 incidents, reported incidents of UFOs. It also finds, according to one of the officials that we spoke to, that there's no evidence that these phenomena are from secret U.S. programs, which has been a hypothesis that people have long speculated about. Um, And it doesn't establish a definitive link to extraterrestrial life or alien life, but it doesn't rule it out either. So basically, we're in the same place we always were uh, before this report, uh, which is People who believe in UFOs will find something to hold on to. People who are skeptical about UFOs will find something to hold on to. But the fact remains that this is a national security concern and it's being taken seriously by all elements of government. I think what we're seeing here is a kind of an overlap of public interest butting up against the secrecy wall of the military. The military simply doesn't want to talk about uh, things like this because they are active investigations into unidentified objects that uh, go into airspace. If there's an airspace incursion, that's a real issue that needs to get looked into. And of course, we have very, very real issues now with drones. And increasingly, other nations and other bad actors are going to be using drones to try to get into our airspace to spy on us and possibly even attack us. So that's something that needs to be dealt with. But people are conflating this issue with the idea that uh, these UFOs demonstrate amazing physics and possibly even aliens. I mean, that's a more extreme interpretation. But, you know, the idea that this is some kind of secret warp drive or it's uh, defying physics as we know it, there really isn't any good evidence for that. And if you look at the videos, the videos do not support that advanced physics argument. I'm not saying there's no aliens anywhere in the universe. That's a separate question from, have they come here? Are they out there? Have they come here? They're probably out there. They probably haven't come here. That's my conclusion, although we have no evidence one way or the other uh, for either of those questions. But you can then kind of do a probability estimate of, you know, these three hypotheses, you know, mundane, prosaic video effects, camera effects, lenses, balloons, and so on. Uh, Russian Chinese assets, which we know it can't be because no one could be that far ahead of us. That's not how it works. Or aliens. And in terms of skeptical principles, just remember, you know, before you say something is out of this world, first make sure it's not in this world. So let's let's not jump to extraordinary claims until we have the ordinary ones uh, ruled out. And then the ICRI principle, we call it, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. 